I think it's finally time to show you guys the beast. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today I'm finally going to show you guys my best kept secret. This is the beast. We got a 2005 Ford Excursion 80 Bauer Edition. A little bit customized if you haven't noticed by now. I've had this thing for about three years. Uh, since Thanksgiving 2021 and well if you were wondering why I haven't made many videos on it It's because I didn't know it well enough. Well now three years later I'm gonna start cranking out videos on this thing because well we've gotten to know each other pretty well So here we go. This is a 2005 Ford Excursion Eddie Bauer with a 6.0 Power stroke. Yes, it's the 6.0 Unfortunately, <laughs> we got a love and hate relationship. Let me tell you, we've been through it. But uh, yeah, um, these things came with the 7.3 diesel. Uh, in the earlier years, they switched to the 6.0, and uh, they're kind of uh, well, they're uh, they're a little finicky. Uh, if you do it just right, you can love these things. And I think I have it dialed in. I think I'm ready to show it to you. We uh, we got our stowaway on that. I got that thing for our road trips when we were in the Commander. But as you know, I got uh, I got a four kids, and uh, well, I, I love Jeeps. Don't don't get me wrong, guys. We're still going to do Jeep videos, but uh, this uh, this beast took up all my time and money going down here to the Aldridge Creek. We're in Huntsville, Alabama, on location, and uh, this is where we've been going to for uh, for quite some time. I'll explain later. Uh, but all my time and money has been going to the beast and uh, putting putting my efforts into getting road trips down to Alabama. So we'll get there, trust me, but uh, let me show you this beast without further ado. Here we go. All right, 2005 Ford Excursion. This puppy is lifted 8 inches. It's sitting on 20-inch rims with 37-inch tires. And those are stock Ford rims. They are the limited rims from, I think, a 2008 Super Duty. Uh, we're probably going to switch up the rims and tires shortly. They're a little bit too narrow, I think, for, uh, for the way this girl sits. Look at that. Eh, I want it to fill out the wheel well just a little more and so far I put about 30,000 maybe a little more miles on them uh, and the tires are showing their wear so I'm gonna upgrade on this thing uh, right off the bat we'll start with this this baby has a 2008 Ford Super Duty front end conversion. The excursions came from the factory with front leaf springs and they were made from 1999 to 2005 and in those years you got front leaf springs. So here we are with a coil spring conversion. It came lifted and well we upgraded it. So let me show you the rear. It came lifted. The rear was sitting on blocks with this air bag suspension, this little air ride kit. So what I did was I removed the stock leaves, I took out the giant block, I chopped up this air bag suspension system, and I put in Pro Comp 8 inch springs, and I re welded on this air ride air bag system so everything's square. Now it works really well. And when I did the air ride system, I replaced all the shocks with Bilsteins. So the previous owner removed the tooth chipper front leaf spring suspension, put in coil springs. I removed the block lift in the back, put in bigger leaf springs, and now this baby rides like a dream. We could do 80 in this thing. Feels like you're standing still. So according to Carfax, this thing came from Louisiana and it was wrecked. Uh, I think it was rebuilt and sold at auction to someone in Maryland, and that's who I bought it from. Somebody did a complete overhaul on this thing. It wasn't Eddie Bauer, so I'm guessing they did the paint job all over, made the trim paint uh, blue to match instead of that gold. Uh, they fixed the damage, and I'm guessing they lifted it. Hold on one sec. We'll go to the engine. Hey, there we go. So I got it lifted. <laughs> Power stroke V8, there we go. Uh, I got it lifted and if you can see it, it was studded and deleted. So off the bat, a lifted, studded and deleted excursion. Good to go, right? Wrong. Let me tell you the struggles I had with this thing. So the very first 
uh, month I got it, we went right down to Alabama, had a beautiful trip. Actually, we went to, all right, so we drove down in a rental car, my father and I, we went to Maryland, from Long Island to Maryland, jumped in this thing, it was awesome, paid cash, drove it back home, beautiful. Uh, Took it to a diesel guy, Long Island diesel guys. Mike, what up? Uh, he's been a great friend and uh, he did this thing, gave it a good once over. Oil change, fluid change, all the filters, uh, every, everything was went through, had a good baseline um, uh, starting point for this thing. Uh, I got it with a hundred, uh, no, 212,000 miles, which isn't bad for a diesel at all. So we were good to go. We hit this thing up to Alabama. Had a great trip. It's uh, from my house to my family's house. It's uh, 1,000 miles on the dot. Zoomed to Alabama, zoomed back. We did great, loved it, it was awesome. Then we pushed our boundaries a little bit more. Uh, we went back to Alabama, and then from there we went to a wedding in Texas. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> yes, the Alamo, San Antonio. Alabama. Back to Alabama and back home. That was trip number two. That was fun. And then we went back and forth to Alabama a couple more times. Uh, we did a wedding in Guntersville, Alabama. That was that was a great trip. Um, so this is where it started to go south for the beast. So we ended up getting the uh, the, the the vid. We got the vid. Uh, back in summer 2021 and uh, we were driving north through Tennessee and uh, the turbo blew. The turbo went dry and the turbo blew. We broke down in Tennessee with, with the vid. Had to get a rental car. It, it was a disaster. The excursion spent about a month somewhere in Georgia. Uh, all state towed it to a place they couldn't fix it. I had to get a car transporter to bring it back to New York to uh, to my buddy at the diesel guys. And uh, well, we uh, we fixed the turbo and a few other things. So the car transporter was the worst. They actually transported this thing from Tennessee back to New York uh, with the windows down. Windows down, raining in your excursion. The guy couldn't figure out how to put a jump box on it to get to get the windows back up. Ah. Ah. You crazy man. Ah. No good. No work. Woo. Woo. No work to me. And it spent the whole trip up to New York with uh, with the windows down in a thunderstorm. It was bad. They missed their time, and it had to spend the weekend uh, somewhere in, in Jersey, Trenton, New Jersey, because they missed their mark, and the, the driver's hours expired. So it was the worst uh, transport experience ever. But anyway, got it back to, uh, to Long Island Diesel guys. Mike, hook this thing up. Watch how game. easy it is. Had three windows down. How many miles? That's absurd. Uh, he replaced the turbo. We just put a, a stock Garrett turbo in, and uh, everything was fine again. It was good to have the truck back. Uh, so uh, that was a wild ride. We we took this thing again to Rogersville, Alabama. We have other family, and and we had a great time. Um, Let's see, what else? Well, how else did this thing break down? All right, so the next time we went on a trip, we had a, a big trip. This was a little bit more recently, I think Christmas 2023. Here we go, this is the big one. We did a Lexington, Kentucky trip. We went to the Ark, the giant replica of Noah's Ark. This thing was great, uh, was riding fine. Uh, Lexington, and we did uh, Florida. We went down to Florida from there. We did uh, Palm Beach, Florida. Then we did Orlando, Florida. Then coming back home, we stopped at North Carolina. So North Carolina, back home, we uh, we had we had the big the big problem, the big breakdown. We lost our high pressure oil pump in Pennsylvania. We were 200 miles from home, and uh, 
we, we lost the fuel pressure. The uh, high pressure was completely gone. We ended up doing the dummy plug stand pipes. We <laughs> did the whole uh, O-rings, injector rings. Everything was uh, was redone on the high pressure oil system, and uh, that was that was huge. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier that I did get a Fickum upgrade from the uh, the Fickum FickumRepair.com. So the Fickum uh, that we were running before that trip was doing great. Let me show you from Fickum Repair. I did, uh, I put in a new alternator, I did the new, uh, the, the thicker wires, I uh, got two new batteries, so I wanted to make sure we had the proper voltage to keep that Fickum happy, and man, we, we had, uh, we had some issues, and, uh, well, um, after the high pressure oil system was fixed, something happened with the Fickum, and, uh, I had that sent out, um, we got the Fickum repaired, and in the meantime, I did a, uh, injector harness I put that in myself but uh, I had a broken plug on the um, a broken connector on the engine harness so I ended up getting the engine harness done by the diesel guys again uh, and uh, everything was happy until uh, <laughs> until the wire harness kind of got eaten by the belt a little bit it was just it was just a fresh harness and it protruded in and and uh, we kind of had to finish uh, a 500 mile trip um, from uh, New York to Alabama with uh, with no AC but well let me show you let me show you what I fixed right now and not sure if you can see that but that is a wire nut uh, connecting the two wires that go to the uh, high pressure AC line uh, so yeah we're gonna have to get that fixed when we get home but right now all is well this thing is running great, tip top, the best it's ever been, and uh, it looks good too. I just washed it, and uh, I know you guys have been asking for for the video on this thing. Well, the guys that know I had it wanted it, but uh, I wanted to wait till the proper time where it was running the best, where it looked the best, where I know the most about it. I want to make sure I give you guys good info on this thing. I can't just uh, get something I don't know about and spew out some nonsense and not have uh, a real deeper meaning as to what's going on in there. But now I know all about thickums and turbos and high pressure fuel pumps. And I've been through it all with this thing. The 6.0 is holy crap, guys. It's, uh, it's a crazy beast of a motor. Uh, but once you get it dialed in, it does some fantastic stuff, man. This thing has power and I drove from, I don't know, New York to Alabama, a thousand miles doing 80 my average speed and uh i got 20 miles per gallon sorry 19.7 miles per gallon which is pretty crazy because wife four kids the big dog full of gear and luggage and i got this <laughs> stupid stowaway luggage rack on it so that's the beast let me show you the inside all right as we get in we can see my running boards i put these on these were takeoffs from a brand new ford there's where our factory scored these great. I think I went down to uh, Jersey Shore to get these. And here she goes. This is a beautiful Eddie Bauer interior. I think these seats were recovered when I got them. If not, man, um, <laughs> the previous owners did a heck of a job keeping these things maintained. Um, it's got uh, it's got everything you need. I got my overhead consoles, my compass. It's got the entertainment center for the kids in the back. They hop up here. Ugh. I got the wood grain steering wheel, a Pioneer DVD player, the digital AC controls, scan gauge down here, and we got a voltmeter that has USB power. There we go, 12.5 volts, all right. Um, all on an original excursion dash and a little pluggy thingy there <laughs> standard stuff we got a nice big center console we got my factory Fickum uh, ready to rock in there <laughs> with the Fickum tools so I could change the Fickum on the road and yeah pretty sweet interior and I'll turn it on real quick 
we got 244,411 miles. That's not bad on a diesel. We have 356.2 miles on the odometer. I reset this prior to driving, which means I have 1,356 miles on our trip. It only does the thousands. Here we go up here, if you can see it, 605 miles to empty. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a pretty sweet thing to have in your back pocket when you're driving cross country, you know, and you could go a long time without gas. Uh, here is the middle row. Middle row, we have captain's seat. So my two oldest daughters get these seats in the middle. My dog gets the middle middle. Big old Fiona gets uh, a nice whole aisle to herself. As you can see, her dog hair uh, represents where she was. <laughs> Marks her territory. Sorry I didn't clean out all the crumbs. It's, uh, it's impossible when you have kids to get the crumbs. And I got that back seat, third row, right there. That's for my younger son and younger daughter. And this baby is huge, plenty of room to put uh, to put the stuff. So. There's another look. The beast is big, that is for sure. Hey, more crumbs. And back is my backpack. My laptop's in there. I'll probably use that to edit. <laughs> uh, big, huge cargo space. Let me walk around here. I'll show you that air ride setup. Oh, got my little remote right here. Uh, let's dial it up. Let's see, where are we at? 40? Let's just bump it up to 50. This is not to attain lift. This is just to offset the weight of all the cargo. She be. And we'll go back down. No, don't set. Dang it. We'll go back down. There it is. Cool. So, like I said, I've been through a lot with this beast. It's uh, it's treated me very, very well, and very, very bad. All at the same token. Oh, let me uh. Pop this bad boy up. Uh, it, it's a 6.0 thing. I, I think uh, by now everybody knows about them. You either uh, you either love it or you hate it. Um, if you have money to throw at it, then uh, then you're gonna love it. And if you if you don't, well, uh, you might hate it and wanna sell it immediately because because um, it could leave you stranded if you don't do what it needs to stay running, and that could be expensive sometimes. Uh, now you guys know why the uh, the beach jeep build has been put on on pause. Uh, that build costs money, and uh, this thing costs money, and there's only so much to go around. So uh, the beast the beast won for now because it's my wife's daily driver. It's her kid mobile, and uh, you know four kids and a dog. Uh, they win. Yes, this is my wife's vehicle. It's my truck. Uh, <laughs> the kids do climb up in this uh, every single day. And again, another look at this. A beautiful, huge cargo compartment. And I love my three-fold barn doors. I replaced the strut on this thing uh, this winter. Oh, here's a good look at the stowaway. It swings out and you can access everything. So. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I've done a whole bunch of sorry it's full of tools so it's heavy but I did a whole bunch of stuff to this if you guys want to see more on this beast you let me know uh, what am I gonna do to this thing uh, I have to tint the front windows because down here in the south it is hot and we've been down south a lot lately so 
uh, window tint. Um, we're gonna do wheels and tires. Uh, my wife wants 22s, so hopefully we'll make that happen eventually. We're gonna get some LED headlights. Uh, what else did we do? Um, these, uh, these mirrors are the newer style. That came with the Jeep, the Jeep. Oh, I did it. I knew I was gonna slip up and say Jeep uh, with the truck. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I think that's it for now. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to explain everything I did with this thing, with the Fickum, with the high pressure fuel pump, uh, with the high pressure system, uh, with the turbo. Um, you know, my knowledge is your knowledge. And that's it guys, uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, share this video with all your Ford guys, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I was thinking during the outro of this video, all the things that I modified uh, to include newer model running boards. Had to replace the axle U-joint. I did a door panel swap. Put in later model tweeters. Added a Rough Country steering stabilizer with a Dan H sticker. Painted my Excursion International badges with matted black. Added a touch of black over the faded blue Ford logo. Had to re-weld the MBRP exhaust to get around my leaf springs instead of the flat springs and blocks. Upgraded to LED taillights. Got a new change holder, but I had to screw it down because I put too many quarters in and it blasted this top piece out like a slingshot catapult or whatnot. 9 millimeter bullets. I had to replace both rear vent window motors. It had rock lights. And a backup cam. We got a dash cam. With easy pass. Most of that stuff is little stuff. So besides the engine work that I did, keeping this thing reliable and on the road, this excursion was painted and lifted uh, with these big tires uh, on 37s uh, before I had it. So I would love to know who built my excursion. If, uh, if you could find the guy, let me know. I'd love to chat and uh, introduce myself. And yeah, I want to know who built my excursion. So all you Ford guys, start uh, texting each other. Send this video out. Let's see if we could find the guy. Look, the guy who did this truck painted the springs to match. Now, I like that. That is attention to detail, and guy, whoever you are, I wanna shake your hand. So, uh, so that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace.